Hi Gemini. This is going to be your love read for November. It's Bunny here. Welcome to my psychic space of love and healing. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Okay, so I did not forget about your bonus read. I will be doing your bonus read tomorrow, okay? I'm trying to get all of the reads out for the month since we are closing out the end of November. We're pretty much in the tail end of November. <clears throat> so I want to make sure I get all the, uh, the all the signs reads out. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to do, this is going to be your timeless read. Um, and like I said, it is timeless. Whenever you find it, it's for you. But I will be focusing on the energy of November and right now. So, okay. Um, I've already cleansed your space. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be starting with the Light Seer's Tarot. And I do see that some of these cards are upside down. So I'm just going to go through really quickly. And make sure they're all right side up for you, Gemini. <clears throat> Hold on, I might need to tell my kids to turn on the TV. It's awful loud. It's so weird. There was only one card that was flipped up, and it was the Seven of Cups. So that's pretty strange. The kids have the TV really loud. I don't know why. So I need to go tell them to turn it down before I get started. Oh, no, some of these were upside down. Let's see. Weird. I wonder how they got like that. I never, ever, ever take reversals. I don't, I don't even read reversals. I mean, it's, it's very rare that a reversal comes out because I always make sure my, I'm meticulous about how I have my cards. You know? All right, one second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. All right, let's see what the energy holds for you right now with the person on your mind and the person in your energy field, okay? <clears throat> what do we have for Gemini? Gemini, what do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for the beautiful air sign of Geminis, the ones that watch me? Who is the person in their energy field? What is going on with them? And what does Gemini need to know about this connection, please? Ooh. What does Gemini know, need to know about this person and this connection? Wow, right away. This card literally flew out, Gemini. It's the Hierophant. So this person right now that is in your energy field, Sorry, there's a little something on my selenite. They are wanting to commit to you. And I'm talking commits in a really big way. Like this is like marriage, marriage type material. Um, marriage type, I didn't mean to say marriage material. So <laughs> I meant to say marriage type commitment. So yeah, they, the Hierophant is my card, my marriage card which means they want to marry you. They're they're going all in, Gemini. Wow. That was quick, huh? Wow. See, I just said that was quick and there is the 8 of wands. They're going to want to lock this down. Let me switch my bracelet. They're really going to want to lock this down right now. They are ready. Whoa. I don't even need to know if we even need to keep going. Look at that, Six of Wands. So if they haven't made a public commitment to you, oh, I just got a cramp in my my leg. Hold on. Oh, I'm scared of the walk around. If they haven't made a public commitment to you yet, if they have not made a public commitment to you yet, Gemini, it's coming. It's coming. It is, it's on the way, okay? Um, this is my card of public love. It's public recognition, right? But it's like a public declaration of love. This would be like you guys announce that you're a couple. Like there's no, there's not going to be any question about like, are we in a relationship? What are we doing? Are we just, you know, 
effing. I mean, are we friends with benefits? This is like, they're going to lock it down with you. You guys are either going to be like, you're going to say like, oh, you know, he's going to introduce you as his girlfriend or you're going to introduce him as your boyfriend or whatever. Um, you know, an engagement like this is a serious commitment. Page of Cups. Wow. Like this whole, this whole reading has this feeling of like, so I get this feeling, Gemini, that you're pretty shocked about the turnaround with this person because the whole Page of Cups energy tells me it's the when pigs fly card. So it's almost like you didn't ever think that this moment was going to come, but it, it's here. Right? The Page of Cups could also mean another declaration of love, another offer of love from someone else. Four of Cups. the sun wow so after a period of like never thinking this person was going to come around you know there was no movement your love life was very sort of stagnant you know you were just like this is dumb like you were just completely bored with your love life you were just like nothing's ever going to happen with this person you had given up on them and then boom they come in very quickly they want to lock it down with a commitment you know, a big commitment too. like they, this is marriage minded, a marriage minded person. Not only that, we got the Hierophant, which is my marriage card. We also got the Six of Wands, which is a card of public, publicly loving you out in public, announcing this is my fiance, this is my girlfriend, you know, whatever, this is my boyfriend. And then the Sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck which tells me that this relationship is going to be very fulfilling for both of you. Okay. Holy smokes. So I do want to ask about this four of cups. So like, why do we have the four of cups here? I just want to make sure it's because, because the four of cups can mean like you getting bored of something really quickly. Um, and I don't think that's the case. I think, this is past energy of like you were feeling bored, like nothing was going to happen. But I want to, let's just dive deeper. And why do we have the Four of Cups here, please, Spirit? Why do we have the Four of Cups? Tell me about the Four of Cups, please. I just want to make sure we're on the right track. Oh, the lovers. Yep, this is definitely, <laughs> you're definitely not going to get bored of this one. This, this is your person, Gemini. This is your person. The reason you were bored with your love life, right? The Four of Cups. The reason you were bored was because you knew that this person was the only one that you wanted. You know, you were like, if I have a choice, it's always going to come down to this person, right? You were just waiting for them to choose you, and they did. Holy shit. Okay. Um, we're going to move on because... Ooh, I don't even know what I don't even know what cards to pick now. <laughs> I don't even know what to even go to because it was so good. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about it, okay? I mean, the, the, your reading has already started out so good. I don't even think we even need to <laughs> go any further, but we will. We're going to just keep confirming this for you that this is not a shitty connection, Gemini, that you are on the right track with this person. Okay, I want you to feel secure in your decision after this reading, okay? All right, Romance Angels. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Connecting now to Gemini's energy, to Gemini's spirit guides, to my guides. What else do we was what else did Gemini have to know about this connection with this beautiful person? Oh my God, I told you, Gemini, it's engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I told you I was on the right track. I said, this person wants to marry you. Boom. I, oh, you cannot make it up. This is, 
this is why I'm so good at my job. This is why I charge so much for my readings. Y'all think I don't know what I'm talking about. I am a freaking good reader. I know what I'm about, y'all. I have been doing this since I was 15 years old. I can read energy of someone as they walk in a room before they even open their mouth. I already know what they're about. I'm telling you, I am so good at my job. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys have been spending a lot of time together, Gemini. You're going to be spending more time together. And it's not just like a superficial, we spend time together and, you know, we're getting to know each other. You are getting to know each other, right? You might be in the early phase of this, but you guys are going to spend, you guys are so comfortable together. When you spend time together, you share your deepest, darkest feelings and secrets that you, both of you are telling each other things you never told other people. And that's why the bond is so strong. This could be a twin flame relationship. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, I'm so thirsty. This energy feels incredibly intense. Incredibly intense. Like, this person has very deep feelings for you. I can feel it. Ooh, it's... It's a very intense connection. Okay, so we have unrequited love. And in the past, Gemini, I think that you really thought that this was an unrequited love, right? You didn't know if this person had feelings for you. Oh, my eye hurts. You know, you doubted it. You were like, "Is it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, right? But this doesn't feel... With all the other surrounding cards, there's no way that this has to do with this with this relationship. This is about in the past, you you this is so nuts. This is what makes it nuts. Is this this person in the past was very nonchalant with you. Like, I mean, and I'm not saying like they played with your emotions, right? They were always, you know, it's 12, 12 on my camera phone. They were always serious about you. They just held back a lot of how they felt they may have acted very nonchalant you know what i'm saying about the relationship off and on right but they always had deep feelings for you and they always made it known but at the same time they weren't fully stepping up and committing and so you always felt like they didn't have as deep of feelings for you as you did for them and that was not true They feel the exact same way you do, if not stronger. Last card from the Romance Angels, please, for Gemini. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. Okay. So allowing yourself to be open and playful with this person um, is going to deepen your bond, okay? All right. Let's go on. What else do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini, please? <clears throat> what do we have for Gemini? What else do they need to know? Now, this is just a random spirit deck card that I made, so I have no idea what's going to come out. What do we have? This person is very loving. They may, you may not have thought so in the past because they were very good at covering up their deeper feelings. But they're very, very loving and kind and sweet. They still have a lot of shadow work to do, right? They still have a lot of fear. But I feel like that's for both of you. Everybody has shadows. One more card, please. 
This is not something that you should allow to hold you back, Gemini. Face your shadows and allow the person space to face theirs. And then we have blonde hair. So you might have blonde hair. Your person might have blonde hair. Um, you know, maybe either of you are, were born a blonde. You could have dyed your hair blonde. I don't know. All right. So we're going to move on. Yeah, this is definitely a deeper connection than uh, you originally thought, Gemini. So let's see what else Spirit has to say. There's a strong feeling, too, of like a fresh start. So if you haven't met this person yet, Gemini... Um, this will happen when you're having a fresh start in your life or, you know, this is someone from your past that you've dealt with before and you are getting a fresh start with this person. Look, we have fear. This person is really, really afraid, but they're not letting their fear get the best of them. Okay. Or you could be really afraid. Oh, look at you have home. I'm telling you. You guys are going to be moving in together pretty, really, really, really soon. Oh my gosh. If you look at the number on the house, it says number 83. Add up 8 and 3. What is that? It's 11. This is a twin flame connection. Holy crap. 11 is my twin flame number. And I've never noticed the number on that house until just now. Wow. No wonder it feels so intense. I feel like both of you might have a little bit of fear like this is not going to work out. Try to work that fear out of your system, okay? Don't let it get in the way of this connection. Legal matters. So <clears throat> you or this person is experiencing some type of legal, legal matters. They might be going through a divorce. You might be going through a divorce. Um... It could be something else in the legal system. That could be why they maybe they held back for so long. Maybe they have some legal issues that are going on. Some of them could have had a run in with, you know, law enforcement for something. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but that's what it feels like. And then we have crossroads. So they knew they had to come to a decision when it came to you. And that's why they decided to come towards you because they knew if they took the path away from you, they were never going to feel content. They didn't want to risk losing you. They either walked away once already and they knew it wasn't the right path or what. I don't know. Either way, they're making a decision. They're coming closer to you. They want to commit. They want to marry you. The energy has shifted in a huge way. Um, let's get a healing card for you, Gemini. And we're going to do an Akasha card and we're going to be done. I hope something in this reading resonated for you. If it did, please like the video and consider subscribing. It's completely free. Both are completely free for you. Comment down below so that I know something resonated it, it, you know, lets me know that I am connecting with you. And if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below my videos. Right. What else do we have for Gemini? Self-sabotage. Wow. So either you or this person has the habit of self-sabotaging. Honestly, it feels like your person though. They're very wise. The owl shows me that they're very, very smart and intelligent. They just have a way of self-sabotaging. It's like when something starts feeling good, they find a way to screw it up. And this is part of their shadows, right? I think that's, I think, I think though that both of you are very aware of this pattern, right? Right? 
they have a lot of ghosts in their past that that's why sometimes they just don't feel they don't feel good enough it's like this feeling of i'll wreck it before you wreck me family and tribe number 20 that's number two and this is number 20 so they are learning to balance out their energy two is about balancing so they're aware of this of this shadow that they that they do where they self-sabotage and because they're aware of it now they're learning to deal with it in a positive way if that makes sense that's why they made their way towards you they finally feel ready and something about this is so we have family and tribe this is about them wanting to complete their family with you okay so whether they have children or you have children when you guys get together it's going to be like this big beautiful extended happy family they're going to be content with helping you raise your children and you're going to be content helping them raise their children or vice versa okay but you guys are part of a soul family tree as well like i said you guys have had many lifetimes together also i feel like this means that you're very close also with their family if that makes sense so like you might know a lot of his friends or you know vice versa he might know a lot of your friends um you guys know each other's family and you guys have already like accepted you know you guys have already been a part of each other's inner circle so if you don't know this person, Gemini, you're going to meet them through your soul family, like in your inner circle of friends, right? The people that you consider your soul family. One more card for Gemini for this one. Wow, self-love. Look at that, Gemini. You and this person are learning self-love. You're probably teaching it to each other. This is a very deep spiritual connection too. 24, if you add it up, it's 6. So this shows me that you guys are connected spiritually. I told you it was a twin flame relationship. You guys are connected spiritually. This is a spiritual relationship. This person taught you self-love, okay? This person taught you self-love, and this is why the connection felt so deep. They may have done things in the past that really made you question your, your worth. And you thought, no, if I love myself, I'm not going to put up with this type of, uh, type of treatment. And, you know, maybe you had to let them go in the past. And then they realized what they were losing. And they had to come in in the correct energy, right? But they taught you a huge lesson. And that was self-love. You learned to love yourself through this person. You said, I'm not going to settle for crumbs. I'm not going to accept your crumbs. Okay, what is the last card, Akashic card, that we have for Gemini? Woo, flipped right away. Solar Plexus Chakra, number 36. Six and three is nine. So, Spirit is asking you to work on your Solar Plexus Chakra. It is the chakra which um rules your digestion so it is the chakra that is right above your stomach in your navel where your belly button is work on this chakra it's also going to help your connection this is the chakra of the will it's the chakra of you know your self-confidence working on this if this is a twin flame connection will also help your partner with their self-confidence as well because you guys do share an energetic body blueprint, right? You say you share the same energy field. Okay. So I think they're fighting. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. My kids were fighting. So working on your solar plexus chakra, okay, is going to not only bring in abundance for you. 
this number nine is the number of abundance. So it's gonna bring in more financial stability for you, abundance in all forms, in all types of forms and fashion, right? But also it's going to help your person to heal their solar plexus chakra because you guys do share an energy body, right? What you heal in yourself is also going to heal in your person if you are true twin flames, okay? Oh, look on the bottom of the deck. We have love and heart chakra. Look at all of this. You guys, oh my gosh, Gemini. You are healing each other. Oh my gosh. I'm going to call your reading healing with love. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Look, you're healing each other's heart chakra because you're showing each other unconditional love. And there's that number 22 again. Uh, okay. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you go on YouTube, you can find um, solar plexus chakra balancers and cleansing music and frequencies for free okay i use um all the seven chakra balancing and cleansing um videos every night when i sleep so utilize that all right i love you gemini bye